Hi Angel here for tabletblog.de I just got the Samsung Galaxy Now 10.1 a new 10 inch tablet from Samsung we've been expecting that since February Samsung introduced it at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona um, but it changed it quite a bit since then and yeah, now we want to unbox this little or big tablet this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 Let's put it aside first and let's have a look at the content of this package. Here we have the uh, plug for the power, quick start guide in German and in English as well as a warranty card. Then we have here a couple accessories. This one's for the headset, for the earplugs obviously. And I think this are some extensions for the stylus. Then we have the USB cable. Nothing special, looks like every other Samsung cable as well. And then we've got a headset here because you actually can make phone calls at least with the 3G version of the Galaxy Note 10.1. And at least with the German version, I don't know if that will be available in the US at least the capability of phone calls I think it wasn't I think with the US version of the first Galaxy Tab you couldn't make phone calls but with the European you certainly could but I'm not sure you have to look or ask your local dealer yes this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 we have a 10.1 inch display resolution is 1280 by 800 Inside there's a 1.4 GHz quad-core processor, a 2 GB of uh, RAM and 16 GB of storage. And yeah, in this model there's also a 3G module inside, um, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and so on. Let's quickly go around the device. We've got a 1.9 megapixel webcam here on the top, two speakers on the side. Samsung decided now to um, copy the look of the Galaxy Tab 10.1 N which was introduced in Germany um, because of the lawsuits of Apple so we have this um, silver uh, lining here around the device with the two speakers included. Here on the bottom we've got the pin connector for the USB cable then we have this nice stylus here um, it's not as thin as the 5 inch Galaxy Note um, the stylus and that's actually a good thing because it's much more comfortable to hold it in your hands. It just fits in nicely on the side here. Then nothing on the sides. Here we have a SIM card slot. I don't have a SIM. Um, I haven't put a SIM inside it yet. Then we have an audio port for the headset. An infrared thingy here, micro SD card slot, rocker switch for the volume and the power button. On the back we have a 5 megapixel camera and an LED flash. Yeah, that's it. The um, Galaxy Note 10.1 is completely um, aus plastic and yeah, let's just turn it on. Hit the power button here on the top. And then we have Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Let's unlock it. Um, the language is in German right now, but I think you can still see what happens on the screen. Um, yeah, this is the home screen. It comes with that. That is the touchless UI on top of Ice Cream Sandwich. So there are a lot of apps we installed, like Video Hub, Music Hub, Game Hub, Social Hub, all the hubs that Samsung has as well as a nice weather and time widgets. A couple of pre-installed apps like S-Note, um, Photoshop Touch, Smart Remote for this infrared sensor on the top. And yeah, the Samsung App Store. Of course, YouTube Dropbox. Um, you get five gigabyte, I think, um, storage included with this tablet. Polaris Office, chat on, um, as I said, the telephone app. I can't open it right now because then you would see all my contacts and their telephone numbers uh, and their phone numbers. 
I think not everybody would find it that good, at least the ones for my top, uh, for my contacts. Okay, let's quickly check in the settings if it is really Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, and it is Android 4.0.4. And yeah, here you can see again the touch with UI. Samsung has uh, changed quite a lot of the UI here. Let's just open the browser and quickly type something in. Tablet block, here we go. And it loads quite nicely. We can scroll through it even though I guess there's some flash thingy. Yeah, it was flash that was loading here on the side. Um, the scrolling works very smooth as well as the um, multi-touch I mean, we have a 1.4 uh, GHz quad-core processor on side and 2, gig 2 GB of memory, so we couldn't expect less than a very smooth browsing experience. Let's try the accelerometer. It's okay, not the fastest one, but it's, it's quite fast. A lot of tablets are a lot slower while turning the tablet. That actually looks good. Yeah, another size, nice thing of the browser and a couple of other apps is this. It has a mehrfach Bildschirm, which is in German. I don't know which is um, what the US version will be saying, but it's probably multiple displays, multiple screens or something. If you hit that, then you can choose a couple of other apps. Um, let's just um, choose the email app maybe. And then you have actually real multitasking. Uh, two apps side by side. You can use both simultaneously. You can copy text from there to here and the other way around images and so on. And yeah, you actually have two apps sitting side by side. That is very nice. We haven't seen that in an Android tablet before. Even though Android has a couple of uh, multi-task capabilities. Um, you weren't able to actually use two apps side by side before. Um, let's maybe change this one here. No, I have to close one first. Let's close this. And okay, I don't have the app there yet. Let's quickly open the browser again so that we can hit this button. And maybe open the S Note app. Then we can take a look at the stylus as well. Let's exit this memo, this note, and just open a new one. Here we have the stylus again. It's an active digitizer on top of the touchscreen, so you can use a very precise stylus. Let's just open a new note, and yeah, maybe if we have, I don't know, something open here, and we want to take some notes, you can do that. You can have this Polaris Office a PowerPoint presentation or whatever open on the other side and at the same time you can take some nice notes. You can change the color and so on. That is very nice. You can also edit PDFs with this and um, a lot of other things. As far as I've seen, um, there is no handwriting recognition so you can't write something and then it will transform it into normal text that does not seem to be possible. Um, I think the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet was able to do that, the Galaxy Note 10.1 um, seems to be not. Okay, let's close this window here and let's exit the browser. Let's have a look at some other applications that are pre-installed. Um, yeah, it's an alarm clock, alarm clock and Crane Physics. It's a game that you can use with the stylus again. I think it was also pre-installed on the 5-inch Galaxy Note. Then we have of course all the Google apps, Polaris Office, as I said, Photoshop Touch is pre-installed. You don't have to buy it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. It's a pretty nice tablet, actually it feels good in the hand. It's not uh, too heavy and it's not thick at all. It's pretty thin. Um, that is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Have a look at this YouTube channel, stay tuned. 
and you will see a lot of other videos with this tablet. We will have a closer look at the stylus and at the multi-screen capabilities and have a detailed walkthrough of all the pre-installed apps. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Part 1. Again, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.